And do you want to be a part of my crew? Uh, what, what's, what's your crew's stance on partying? Uh, we're into it. Okay. What do you guys do for fun? Uh, get followers and views. Okay, I mean, I do that for work, so I kind of don't really want to pursue that outside of my job, but I mean, I, how, do you, how do you get followers? Uh, I, I drift. You guys like steal jokes? Uh, no, I do loops in an airplane. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. That's way cooler than how I get followers. Mm. I think, I'm, I, think I want to be in your crew. Great. Here's your trophy. <laughs> uh, these millennials. All right, here's the crew too. We're gonna start our store. Well, we're gonna wait. What? What is that? Wait, you're not signed I, in. I mean, it said I was signed in. It you're literally not, said I was signed in. You're not even signed into your own crew. How do you expect me to join it? That's a good point. <laughs> uh, this is the crew too. It's the sequel to the crew. That's not an R. That's an upside down L. Uh, fonts are magic. You know. I mean, yeah. That's not an E, that's a sideways Roman numeral three, if you want to get weird about it. Oh, is this the Crew 3? No, no. Uh, but wait till you see the logo for the Crew 3, it's gonna blow <laughs> you away. Um, this follows on from the Crew 1, and it's a fairly similar game in, in terms of the ideas behind it, you know? It's, uh, they've, they've, it's an open world racing game, uh, they render the continental United States. Okay. Uh, Can I drive to Topeka? Yeah. Like, yeah, probably. I mean, okay. you could drive to a spot on a map that is most likely to be Topeka. Cool. Whether it's, you know... I've never be... been to Topeka. Well? But I've always wanted to go. Now's your chance. Uh, so the first game was mostly about cars. Uh, they, they put out some add-ons later on that gave you, like, uh, some different types of vehicles. And monster such. trucks? Yeah, mo like monster trucks, for example, which is a type of car. Um, and in the Crew 2... They have added boats and planes to the mix. Great. Uh, my issue with this, get out, of the, get out of the way up front here, my issue with this is that the driving in the crew one was not outstanding. And so... Wait, you have no one in your crew. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't... That's why I asked if you wanted oh, to be in it. Oh, jeez. Well, actually, I'm, t I'm starting to have second thoughts about joining your crew. I'm famous. These people aren't are my friends, but they're not in my crew. They're not in your crew. You know, yeah. They're my friends, but not my crew friends. <laughs> That's it's right. A, it's, a, you know. it's like family versus friends. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, exactly. Um, uh, so my issue was in the crew one, the driving was not great. It yeah. never was. It started out kind of bad. Uh, the, the early cars were, were pretty uh, rough. And what then, did you say, like, they don't handle well? Yeah, they're slow, they don't handle well, all sorts of stuff. And as you leveled up in the game, the game became a little more enjoyable. Um, I, I've not found that to be the case so far in this game. Uh, you, you level up, uh, you, you earn car parts and, uh, that lets you kind of level up your vehicles and, and do different stuff. Let's, uh, let's try uh, just a, a regular Wait, street race. hold on. Can you go left for me? What? What is this? I don't, I don't know. It's a race. <laughs> what is, why? It's Are a, you racing Papa on no, his, on his golf a, course house? You know, it's, it's there's a lot of sponsored stuff in this game, but not in the ways you would think. Like, the whole crux of the game... Well, not the crawl crux. The, the game opens with a cutscene uh, implying that, like, yo, you gotta get those followers. You gotta get famous. Yeah. Uh, and then it kind of just throws you in, and, and all that is is really just a, an experience point, or a, you know, like a points number. You gain followers uh, to hit plateaus, and that brings you from rookie to popular or whatever and then at that point um to make progress. you Race unlock another tier of races okay you know it's just a progression mechanic it's not they're, they're not so far they're they're not saying anything out at all about you know like there's nothing in here that resembles a story so far so that on on the left there is that how many followers you could make from doing this race yeah yeah, if I win, if I complete this event, I'll get nine thousand followers or whatever the number was. Wow, I wish life would tell me how many followers I was going to get before I did something. Yeah, like make a tweet or like eat a tide pod. Eat a tide pod. Followers many, bucks zero. Yeah. Um, so you, you got a little nitrous there? Yeah, a little nitrous. All the vehicles have it. Uh, it's not something you have to add or upgrade uh, like in other games. Uh, you just kind of 
have it. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty nice looking game. This is the Xbox One X version yeah, this here. This is actually really pretty. Um, I think it looks uh, fantastic on the PC. Uh, I've also been playing, but I've been playing it mostly on Xbox. I missed, missed the, that checkpoint. Missed the checkpoint. I, I'm that, unfollowing you. Well, it's just the race isn't over. Okay, I'm, fine. I'm just gonna mute you. Okay. What do you think of that 30-day mute stuff on Facebook? Do you use it all? Is there a is there a like timeout? Yeah, option like basically, on like like their whole thing of just like, hey, instead of just unfriending people, why don't you just mute them for 30 days and see how it goes? And then when the time is almost up, it'll say, hey, in about five hours, you're going to start seeing updates from this person again. And there's a button right there that just says snooze again. Oh, man. And so far, every person I have done that to, I have, I have re-upped. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, you got stuck. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, I just either... I've muted a couple people, uh -huh. but I mostly just unfriend. Yeah. I, I've gotten really... I had, I had a nice long conversation with um, Dan and Abby about unfollowing and unfriending. I was really skittish about it for a while, but I'm, I feel more liberated now. I feel more free to yeah. unfriend shitty people that I don't want ruining my life when I see their bad posts. Mm. For me, it's mostly been like, oh, these people are okay people in real life, but I sure don't want to see their bad posts. Uh, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I guess if they're a bad person in real life, I just unfriend them. Right, yeah. Um, so, I, I, you know, a lot of the race uh, tracks and stuff, are, yeah, they, they are these two-lap affairs out here. Uh, they've just, uh, they draw off a track. I feel like, in some cases, it feels like the checkpoints are a little too far apart uh, in a way that makes you a little unsure about what way to go. And not in, like, yeah, fun, like open-world racing, really like, close. I might find a shortcut. Uh, but it's more of like a, I, hmm, this seems like if I take the wrong turn, I'm just going to lose this race. So the number of races I've had, like, oh, I um, made one tiny mistake on the final turn of this event, and now I have to do the whole thing again. That's not fun. Do you ever lose followers? No. Do you get banned? No. At least not yet. I mean, you know, if you haven't threatened to kill up. anyone. No, not yet. Uh... Oh, jeez. Well, we're going to finish last in this one. <laughs> Turn into a plane and just fly to the exit. Unfortunately, you can't do that in the middle of a race. Like, uh, the, the actual events are locked to specific vehicles. vehicles sure. You know. But, I mean, like, if you know you're going to lose, why not just be like, hey, check out what I can do. Right, yeah. I mean, I, the button doesn't even work when you're in an event. So, fantastic. We finished last. That's great. Uh, I think I only had to finish in the top three. Yeah, you don't even have to win most of the events. You can just finish top three. Yeah, you got last. And that's, that's uh, I got 420 three. followers, which nice. is still a number. And you got a bunch of Bitcoin. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. They just wanted a fake currency, so they chose Bitcoin, the fakest <laughs> of all currencies. <laughs> um, is that the Hudson River? I believe so. So at any point, I can just go, blow, and now we're a plane. That's cool. That is the coolest thing that this game has to offer. Yeah. Is the ability to just change like that on the fly. That's pretty cool. There wasn't I was expecting a better splash. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that would be cooler. Fly it, do a yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking love when planes fly under bridges. Holy shit, that's the good shit. I got 75 followers for flying under that bridge. I would have followed you. For, for holding sure. down the left bumper here, my followers are ticking up. Yeah, you know, once you reach a certain level of followers, like pretty much anything you go do will get you more. Yep. You're not wrong. I can just keep rolling. Eventually it'll max out in a combo if you do the, enough of the same stunt in a, in a thing. It'll say, all right. So can you like fast travel? Yep. Can you show me San Francisco? Yeah, sure. Uh... Let's look at this world map too. Oh yeah. That's America, all right. Yeah, I feel like there aren't a ton of events. Uh, you know, like the, the previous game had a lot of things you would just like, oh, I found a little gate here. When I drive through it, it starts a little event where I got a slalom. And th this has a couple of those. Um, but I, I feel like they've made 
and maybe I'm just uh, misremembering the first game, but I feel like they've made fast travel a lot more appealing by just not putting a lot of stuff into the world. Right. All right, let's just travel to this race, but then we just won't enter the race when we get there. Welcome to an old family tradition, the Bishop Family Legacy Race. Three. Photo op. Uh, yeah, there's a photo mode, and they have, oh like, god, they kind of have collectibles. What the uh, fuck, dude? Well, I, I hit that street light, and then I took it away with me. And then you like threw it into somebody's house. Well, my crew is not always <laughs> on the right side of the law. Your crew is just you, Jeff. You can't cover up but all these actions. I can't by saying be your responsible crew. for what my crew does. <laughs> Right, is this what, like, Marin? I don't know. That seems like, yeah, like this, okay, here we go. Oh, dude, go by Lucas Ranch. And you can go see, like, Chewbacca. Maybe I can beat, maybe Chewbacca will join my crew. <laughs> maybe Chewbacca will join your crew. He's alive again. Like, he was he was dead, and they made him come, come back from the cannon. Maybe he'll be in your crew. Wait, they launched the Chewbacca out of a can? Yeah, it was after the moon fell on him. Oh. Okay. okay. It seems like something that would happen in Star Wars. Oh, fly under the Golden Gate Bridge, dude! Oh, shit. Oh, hey, there's yeah. other players. <laughs> nice. Can you find us? Probably, I, I don't know. I, I feel like all of their uh, representations <laughs> have, have been, uh, you know. Like the spirit of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not meant to be uh, an exact thing per se. I uh, remember the, the hotel we those. stayed at during E3 is somewhat represented. Oh, sweet. Yeah, all the important Can you shit. see the ghosts? Uh, no, I don't think you, I don't think they actually should. I can, I can, uh, my friend's Roll dad lives in of one plane. of these boats. What happens if you turn into a boat on land? Uh, it, it lets you. You just can't move. Yeah. Oops. Which vehicle do you think handles the best? Uh, probably the planes. <laughs> And if we hit back on track, it'll actually try to put you back in water. Oh, good. Um, yeah, so that's... I like that it'll let you turn into the car on water, but it just immediately crashes you out. It's like, no, that's... You did it. Congratulations. Uh, it's surprisingly liberal with what it'll let you get away with in a plane in terms of just, like, stuff you can hit without it crashing out. Yeah, like... Planes, are, from my understanding, are very sensitive. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, if a bird flies in your engine, you gotta land in a, a river. But I imagine if you hit a street light, yeah, just ruin your whole day. You'd be like, oh, well, now my wing is screwed up. Yeah. Uh, I think that that's like better for gameplay purposes. Sure. You want to do another activity? Yeah, sure. I love when the signs just say Wine County. Yeah. See, like that's... Probably shouldn't have been able to survive that. Um, you are getting followers. Yeah, I mean, that's why I haven't started the next event is because I'm just racking up all these followers. Uh, let's just... How many followers do you have? Let's show me, show me the follower system. Show me... All right, uh, let's see. There it is up in the corner. We have 76,231 followers. Nice. Uh, so you can pick things off the map, uh, or you can go to this menu, which is just like, hey, here are the activities and all the skills that you've unlocked, uh, or the, the, the kind of like little events you've unlocked and stuff. Uh, so we can go right in to freestyle and... Monster truck. Yeah, sure. Uh, monster uh, truck is... Monster truck's all right. The monster truck thing is... Like, you can't, you couldn't drive a car like this you in know real life. You bigger in Texas? Everything. 
And that includes the trucks. Ain't no two ways about it. Thanks, fake You're Sam in the Elliott. Perfect place yeah. to be running one of them beasts. So here it's kind of forcing me to drive slow through this little thing. Oh, the walk and talk. Yeah, uh, and the then chime and drive. Yeah, the the fake Sam Elliott and two, one, some, something Elliott chariot. Nice ride. I wonder what you can do with it. What? Who, I don't even. I don't know who that is or what. It's why a, that voice just a, came out of nowhere? It's a sexy lady, Jeff. Insinuating something about your car. Oops, I dropped this magnum that I use for my monster truck. Yep. This is. Is this a real thing? Are there really monster truck skate parks? No, because you can't. Well, I mean, there are the parks and, and stuff set up for you to do sick jumps and. And stuff in monster trucks, I'm guessing. You know, monster oh, I mean, like this. Like, but are there no? Monster because truck look half at this. Pipes? I can't. You know, I can look at that. You can't do that in a car. I mean, you might not be able to do that in a car. You're right. I cannot. I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could do this and then be like, oh wait, no. Oh, get that thousand. I can go the other way oh, too. Oh, hit that big Sonic loop. All right. Wow, there's points everywhere. And you're not getting enough of them. Yep. It's because I want to set up for this loop. Oh, there's no way. There's no way in hell. Holy shit. I forgot about the nitro, That's baby. Right. Nice. Honestly, if there was somebody who was very good at driving both monster trucks, street racing, motorcycles, boats, and planes, I'd, yeah. I'd probably follow them. Like, I, I don't really care much about extreme sports. Yeah. But if you're that good at all of those things... And just like every day you were like, what, what's this person I'm following up to now? Like, I don't yeah. know, they're... They turned a plane into a boat. They're doing fucking 360s off a quarter pipe in a monster truck. And then next they're just taking out all these street lights. Yeah. Whoa, there's loops up there. Yeah, like this is kind of the entry level monster truck. Uh, so I imagine once you kind of level it up and stuff, uh, it'll... Once you get yourself like a grave digger or a Bigfoot. Yeah. Okay, we did it. I also want to say there was a popular one around here that was like Spider-Man themed. Yeah, I mean, there were a bunch of wrestling themed monster trucks for a while. Yeah. Because why wouldn't you? Sure. I uh, have a very fond memory of seeing our school custodian, Kurt, the only, the first man I ever knew with a mullet at the monster truck rally, mm -hmm. walking with six beers back to his family. Okay. His crew. Yeah, his crew. Was he also the only member of his crew? <laughs> uh, so when you finish an event successfully, uh, oh, wait, well, what? Oh, oh, here it is. Loot. Where? Oh, it landed up there? That's a bad. Wait. Okay. Get the loot. Oh, it's only green. It is literally color coded loot. Uh, and so now we've got two new parts for our car here. Uh, the parts have numbers on them. The numbers tend to go up. Hell yeah. Like followers. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we've, we've attached those. Uh, you'll have some rare parts that'll have, uh, you know, these little bonuses on them. Like, oh, this part gives me a, a follower gain increase of 0.7%. Okay. <laughs> you know? Sure. Um, and so you level up the, you know, you, you kind of increase the quality of the cars uh, that way. What's the story? Get followers. That's it. That's, okay. It's, it's just, like, so each discipline, um, well, we'll go to an HQ here. That'll, that'll, 
this is not. Can you go to the Papa John's HQ? No, I don't, it's, it's not. They don't, I don't think they have an HQ. Hey, I'm Papa John. Do you want a pizza slightly better than Domino's? Come on by. Uh, that's not something they sell there. A pizza that's slightly better than Domino's? Yeah. Eh. <laughs> I mean, I figure when you're when you're going that low, it's like debating whether you'd want to have diarrhea or constipation. I just like Domino's. I would rather have Little Caesars than Papa John's. Oh, I Jesus Christ. Because at least pa Little Caesars, there's no bones I've, about it. You walk into the store and say, just give me one. I've heard a lot of bad takes over the last 24 hours, and that might be the, the worst. I think, the con you know, I'm not going to tell you it's better pizza, but I'm going to say that the, the convenience of I'm going to go get this pizza right now and then have this pizza, that's not nothing. It's like 10 minutes to wait for a pizza. No, it's not. Takes me 45 minutes to get to my damn house. Oh, sure, if you're ordering delivery. I'm talking about picking one up. Yeah. Um, Who are these people? Uh, this is a guy that when I got to this area for the first time uh, at the beginning of the game, he was like, yeah, I see something in you. you you're going to be a big street racer. I'm going to give you ah! I'm going to give you a free, ah! a free car. Uh, and then he kind of talked. Who was that guy? Uh, other players can be in this space, I guess. I'm sorry. Well, so the guy gave you a free car. Yeah. And then kind of turns you loose. And I guess so. As we complete events in the uh, the the street, the the racing, the car discipline, uh, we start to rank up. Hey, there you are. Um, Is that the next bus? No. I think it's a reskinned next bus. There there are a lot of things in this game that seem like they should have real brands on them, and they don't. In a way that actually kind of makes me mad. <laughs> like not that I'm like, man, this game needs more branding, but at the same time. This game is so all about, like, it, it's basically one big brand deal. Yeah. That you're like, I gotta get famous. I just wanna get famous being a racer and whatever it takes to get there. Partnering with this fake GoPro company to be in their TV show or whatever the fuck this show is. I'll do it. Uh, like, it, at some point, it seems like they should have, like, quadrupled down on that or something. Okay, here it is. Um, so when you complete 70% of the events in a region, you get to take on the champion of the region. The only thing I know about Tio here is that he wants street racing to stay illegal because <gasps> it's cool. Whereas this guy down here wants to legitimize it, and he thinks that you're going to be a pathway to help him legitimize Wait, it. That sucks. And but like that's mentioned in like two sentences, and it has not been addressed again. And like it's not like you have some real rivalry with this character because this character hasn't been in the game at all, uh, other than in that intro, and maybe he's up here standing somewhere. You should get to pick which one of them you want to align yourself with. P1. That's Tio's ride. I think we might actually get our hands on that. How awesome would that be? Why is everyone go up to somebody? Why do they have such dead eyes? Because it's a driving video game and they're only going to spend so much time on making the player model, the characters look good because who cares? Like, I can dress up my guy, but who cares? Unless I'm on a motorcycle, and even then, I only barely care. And also, a lot of the options like that you can get for your character, you have to spend credits on, which I'm like, well, why don't I spend that on cars? Yeah. Instead of this shit that I never see. I get, you know, you kind of need money sinks in the game or whatever to, to do stuff, but it, it just, none of that feels like it matters. Um, what do we got there? Snack. Snack. Does that say sweet? Water. Sweet. Okay. Oh. Chev. Cherry. Cherry? Probably. So uh, uh, the yellow one's probably what? Like a... What's the purple flavored snack? Because I mean like, you know, red is like a salsa. Maybe it's like a raspberry. They look like chips. Raspberry chips. Ugh. What? This is a mailbox. No, it's not. Ah, it's well. It's a shipping container. Well, that's, uh, that's, if you fail to pick up loot in the world, eventually it disappears, and then you're left to figure out for yourself that there are mailboxes in these areas that you never have to go into after the very beginning of the game. So, 
Yeah, there's a lot of stuff structurally about this game that I, I have problems with. I think that drive over those cars. They do a bad job of uh, of exposing the game to the player. <laughs> um, yes, yes. I can love that car. And now I'm very tired. <laughs> that was fast. I never had any complaints. Um, Tell that to my followers. Yeah. Whoa. So you notice we saw a couple of other human players uh, around about in, in the world, like when we were over by the Golden Gate Bridge. It seemed yeah. like there were a couple of planes, or at least a couple of player names that are probably planes. I, I think there's got to be some kind of multiplayer stuff in this game, <laughs> but I sure haven't found any. There, there, you know, I haven't found any kind of like, hey, player match into a thing. Have you tried honking at them? You know, I haven't, um, but. I've also found it like not super easy to catch up to other players sometimes. Uh, this is one of those uh, skill events. I think if we can fly through this ring, we can start it. Let's see what happens. Can you land as a car on top of that yacht? Probably. Like, can I? I don't yeah. know. Can you as a player? I bet you totally can. Mm, I'd like to see that before we're done. All right. Okay, so we need to fly through the rings and match the figures. So okay. that means we That's need to be cool. like level here. And now it wants us to be roughly that angle. That's bad. Oh, it we turns have, green. I've made, I've made mistakes. That's cool. It turns green when you match it. Oh, and there's little outside indicators. Neat. Yeah, there aren't en there aren't enough things like this though. Uh, I think that's my my problem with the game is like you know if this game was like rotten with these little side things uh, that you could just find, uh, then it, it would give you more of an incentive to not fast travel to races and just be out in the world. But it just seems like there aren't enough of them. It feels like even the first game had more stuff like this in it. Um. And it's it's kind of bizarre in a way. You're like, oh, I mean, you get this whole country that you've rendered, uh, and it's a it's a big wide space, but there just isn't that much in it, uh, and that's weird. Yeah, and this is maybe a a minor thing, but it's really sticking out to me. The fact that the name of this game is The Crew Two, and you can be you've been playing for how long? Like you know, a few hours. Yeah, I, I, I've probably put four or five hours into it, maybe. Uh, three, or, three to five, somewhere around there. That you don't have a crew. Like, I know it's like, oh, invite your friends online yeah. to be part of your crew, but like there should be some sort of component where you're building a crew or something. So the first game was a big gang thing. Yeah. And you were infiltrating a gang uh, of drivers, and, and so that they had a crew. And then also there was the online aspect to be like, oh, this is my online crew. In this game, yeah, it seems like you can get other players t together, but I don't know... Like, maybe I have to invite friends and play to actually... see anything like that? It's just, it just seems like I should be able to get into multiplayer races, and yeah. I haven't seen anything even close to that here. And, and, and so I, I'm just not sure what to make of that yet, you know? The game is only being played right now as of this recording, uh, by people who bought the expensive version of the game. Mm. It's like officially out Friday, but if you bought the $100 version, you could start playing Tuesday. And today, as we're recording, this is Wednesday. Um, so maybe there'll be more people when it is out for real or something? I, I don't know what to make of that. Like, I, I haven't seen a lot of people online. Uh, and I've been checking all three versions of the game. And, and just haven't PC, really seen Xbox, a lot. And, and, uh, and PS4, yeah. Um, and it, that's just been weird. Uh, like the like I said, the, the structure of the game just seems strange and kind of aimless. And it's like it's got this stuff in it, but none of it's particularly exciting. Uh, let's try a jet sprint race, which I think is a race because I I bought a jet sprint boat last night, but then didn't actually go do the event. What is a jet sprint? I have boat? no idea. We'll find out together. I think it's just going to be a race. I should look at speedboat accidents later. Yeah. Cool. There's no talk here, just no. a walk. They didn't write any dialogue for... Wait. Well, what? 
but we've got a race coming up. So maybe this is your crew? Like, you do, there are characters that introduce themselves to you, and then they go on talking in moments like these, but... None of them seem relevant or, like, none of them seem like they have any real personality. It's just like, I don't know, they hung the barest of structure. Yeah. Uh, th there's there's the the smallest bit of structure they could come up with. They just hung around elements of the game. Um, yeah, I don't I don't get it. It just seems like this could be so much more. Like there's a, there's still a cool idea here. Uh, but boy. So the weird thing with boats, yeah, the weird thing with boats is if you pull down on the, the analog stick, you go faster. Huh. You're kind of like trimming yourself down in the water a little bit more, uh, so you end up like you lose some steering. Yeah, uh, kind of always holding down. Uh, That's it. Trap her in your wake. By the way, you want to tell me why we're having a boat race in the desert? Uh. Sam Elliott is one of those voices where the closer you try to get to it without actually doing it, is it gets worse. Yeah. It just makes me want to listen to the real it's Sam Elliott talk about anything. Front, isn't it? He's going to be in a movie called the man who killed Hitler and also Bigfoot. Is this a movie you're writing? Is it <laughs> no, okay. I wish. Okay. Just makes me want to play Wave Race. Or not Wave Race, uh, Hydro Thunder. Mm. Or also maybe Wave Race. Why not? Oops, oops. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, you hold down on the keypad, it gets a little, a little hairy. Or hold uh, down on the uh, analog stick, rather. Jet Sprint boat is more squirrely than the previous boat uh, I've raced. All because of the Jet Sprint. Yeah. You're 80% of the way there. Is this Half Life 3? What? Now's the time for you is that Gordon? To go up? It's Gordon up there. Oh, is that fuck? Where's the quiet man? It's me. I don't, I don't remember anything about Half Life. Uh, there were some aliens. Did, Al um, did Alex die? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't remember. Oh wow, these ones are actually win the race. All the early ones are top are just finished top three. So we get Still jack got 420 shit for that. followers. Uh, I was I was just kind of playing for second at that point because I was like, oh, it doesn't actually matter if I win or not. But I guess it would make sense that the later unlockable unlockable events ask you to win. Whoa. Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> So some of these photo ops will be specific things like, uh, hey, uh, you know, take a picture of the Las Vegas Strip at night, or um, there's a lot that are like, hey, uh, take a picture of a specific animal. You're near a coyote. And then some of them will be like, uh, get a picture of you flying under the Eiffel Tower in Vegas, which I okay. think is what this one that's popping up is. All right, now remember where you parked. All right. That, does that voice come on and say, try a soda? Why not try an ice cold soda? Okay, I'm in. Now get an extra large for the same price as a regular. That's a deal. I'll Is take that it. supposed to be like fighting commentary? Because I don't know. Like that's, that's yeah, just right? Like, how like that's McDonald's does it. Or, or like, I. It's like not exaggerated at all. Yeah, they've got. 
it's, it's like they crash. left placeholder stuff in, and they're like, oh, we'll write something real later. <laughs> uh, but just for, at this point, the people like people working on the game just had to put something in there. So uh, here's someone saying, ah, just get a Coke. We'll put some, we'll put something in better. So, you know, Excalibur, fake Excalibur over there. There's a fake Luxor. One of the photo ops is to drive up to the top of the Luxor pyramid. You see Chris Angel inside? I, I didn't, but uh, you know, maybe you will. Maybe you get Chris Angel to be in your crew. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. The vehicle switching stuff I think is cool. I don't feel like any of the, uh, I, I, the planes handle okay. The, the cars and the, uh, the boats, I, I don't like the handling on it all that, on that stuff all that much. Um, and it just doesn't feel like there's that much to do. Yeah, it seems kind of samey. Um, you know, that jet sprint stuff, like there's already boat racing in the game. That's just another level of... Uh, of boat race. Because there's, there's power boat over here. Can you, can you show me the Papa John's thing before we go? It's just a race, oh, okay. and it forces you into a car. There's nothing specific about it. That's a, it's just that logo. That's upsetting. Yeah, like, like they, <laughs> on some level, you almost wish they would have got that stuff better. Uh, and when you tear up from, like, uh, when you kind of gain enough followers to go up in level, uh, these events kind of bring things together. So, okay. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll show one of these. Um, the game opens with one of these, but this is, a, this is another one. Um, Actually, I guess I haven't done this one before, now that I think about it, so... And this is like you returning to the fake uh, GoPro-style company to be in there. It's time for some I, of those California dreams their fake to TV come show. true. As proven racers and ambitious newcomers battle it out in the third stop of the Live Extreme series. It's non-stop action like you've never seen it before. There's little, other little stuff where, like, if you go fast in an area in the open world, it'll, it'll say, like, hey, you beat the ground speed, uh, uh, st or you, you set a ground you speed, like speed record or whatever for this area, you and your friends will see this icon on the map, and they can try and beat it, but I, do you like oh, well, oh the streets I don't know. Los Angeles? Right. Have we got something for you? What if I don't like any of those things? If I only, like video games. Uh, you still have something for me? Mm, I mean, this is technically a video game. Uh, so yeah, these end up being longer races that involve multiple vehicles, so you kind of have to do that transition, that on-the-fly transition. Which is, you know, it's ridiculous and, and like, kind of fun. I wish, it, in some ways, I wish the game had leaned more into, like, that type of nonsense and just yeah. been, like, crazy with it. It's like, okay, you got this crazy idea, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be this, like, staid open world racing game. You, you could do some really cool shit here. Uh, why don't they do more of that? And they kind of don't. Time and for some pure speed there. That's a bummer. Cruise ship passengers are getting quite the view. You ever go on a cruise? Nope. Seems like prison. Seems like water prison. Yeah, it seems like a good thing to do if like you just like to be in an area and I guess drink a lot. Let's see what they have ready. Oh. For this yeah, so like you know, like imagine if they had like really leaned into that in, yeah. in a dramatic way. There's so many com fun combinations you can do too. Yeah. There's a decisive move. They're going for it. Oops, oops, oops. What, what flat commentary? Yeah, right? It, it's just. You do any tricks? I don't think so. I mean, I can do like me? rolls from and stuff. From a boat to a roof and from a roof to the ground. Now there's a leap of faith for you. What? Yeah.
Oops, oops, oops. I feel like I've spent a lot of the races uh, staring at uh, the mini map also. Oh, sure. Haha, I've respawned in an area where I cannot make that jump. All right, we've got nitrous. Take it now. Hooray. The one thing I'll say is that like the the races aren't necessarily easy. Uh, a lot of games get super rubber bandy with their AI, and this one, well, it, it's 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 not rubber band easy. Uh, if you fuck up, they will smoke you. They will they will. It doesn't feel like they wait around for you to catch up. Uh, but also by that token, if you're paying closer attention and know the track and all that sort of stuff, you just blow them away. Okay, so they, they, they don't catch the up. Right. Of this uh, which, that's okay, but at the same time, like, these events are just long enough that I never want to do them a second time. Like, none of these tracks feel good enough to be like, ah, I'm gonna learn these and really hone in on them. And, you know, like, like, so at that point, like, these events that I just lost, this we're recording this thing. Like, I I don't want to do those again. All right, Jeff, I have terrific news. Yeah? You don't have to. Fantastic. Leg, let's go all out. This is a car I don't think I've ever driven before. It's not every day you get to well, you've only hit on one pedestrian. Full yeah. Along the LA River. Viewers, remember, this you can vote on social media to tell us who, according to you, is the driver of drivers in this year's live extreme series. Let me log on to my social media app and vote for yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, I think that commentary just said you don't see this every day, but literally one of the earlier races is you driving through this exact same stretch of LA. <laughs> Well, did you do that yesterday or the day before? I did it yesterday. And the day before, I think, actually. Well, I didn't see it every day. Fair enough. Your car seems to be a lot faster than their cars. I'm looking at the minimap. Yeah. If you had to build a street racing team, who would your crew be? Race. And you can't pick all Fast and Furious people. Keep their focus. Um, I would find some hardcore, like, drug runners. Okay. You know, he, like, like, getaway driver types. Mm, like like that kid from the movie. The baby? Yeah. I'd go... I'd take The Rock. Um, Evil Knievel. And I guess to round things out, uh, Miss Frizzle. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like it would be more of like a heist crew or something. Like you could do a, little, a real Ocean's Eleven type <laughs> thing with an Evil Knievel and a Rock. Yeah, I, well, I figure Knievel's good because he can kind of like at any point take off in any direction and he'll be fine. Like, yeah. Do a big jump over the Grand Canyon or From something. I, I'm imagining a lot of Grand Canyon crimes. Oh yeah, there's tons of opportunity for that. There's a tourist shop. You yeah, can, you could hit. You can definitely. Those donkeys that you ride down. Yep. Steal a bunch of those and sell them. We'll see you at race number four. I hear that's going to be the next big startup in San Francisco. People are going to leave those donkeys everywhere outside of places downtown. That's smart. Scan a QR code that, that's shaved into the back yeah. of the donkey. Loot. Loot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it needed that, but it just Is like dropped no me back crashing? in. 
No, there's the only thing that'll kind of knock you out of the car and, and do the same thing like if you hit stuff with a plane is if you end up in water. Oh. Hey, there's players. Not enough space to switch. Ugh. I want to go to where these players are and see what they're doing. Well, now they're not going to want to play with you because you're in a plane. I can I can switch back. Where are they? Okay, there's one over here. Go honk them. Sup? Wait. Wasn't he right there? He, he, yes. <sighs> Jeff, I can't watch you play the crew two anymore. I don't blame you. <laughs> but I have to listen. Let me get close to. All right. These planers over here doing plane things. Yeah, it looks like there's a whole plane crew. Maybe you can join their crew. What? That was just a ghost. Ghosts can't drive planes. Ghost plane. I exist purely on the ghost plane. Wait, try and land on that yacht. Okay, there we there we crashed out. That, that must, this must mean that they're in the menus or in an event or something. Maybe. maybe. What the fuck? What the fuck? All right, well that's the crew too. I have no idea, man. Like I, I just, yeah, like, like why the handling even... stuff isn't fun enough to like want. Oh, to... he's back. Hello? Do you know Morse code? Is that them revving their engine? I think so, yeah. I thought that maybe when I got close to another player, there would be like a challenge him to a race yeah. or some kind of thing. Head-to-head -head crew battle. Oh, I love crew battles. This game seems like a game made by a company, re released by a company that produced Steep. <laughs> like, it just feels aimless. Why does it say that, Like, Jeff? these activities are bland. The the core of it, the handling and stuff is, is like, that's that's kind of the 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 deal breaker right there is just like it, the driving itself doesn't feel very good uh, but then on top of that like it just doesn't i i feel like it's not presenting itself very well here in terms of just like hey what am i what should i be doing what should i be doing i've got these you know things i can do obviously i can go complete these activities and level up and find car parts or whatever the hell else but why why Like this got it's got this connected world, but like what am I Just a quick reminder. Okay. If you're in a crew and in the air, you'll get more followers by flying in a formation. Fuck off. What do I uh. Alright, well look. Hey you went under a bridge. I'm gonna go under another one too. That's why the red hot chili peppers have the most followers out of anyone. Yeah, no, they, they pretty much live down there. Um, ben, this is the crew too. I'm not going to sit here and say it is completely without merit or anything like that. I think that there are some ideas here that I wish were done better, but that's the, the most frustrating thing is like so much of the game feels either bland or ill-conceived that the little bits of it that I'm looking at and going like, man, this, like, this aspect seems really cool. It's like a diet video game. Yeah. But I do want to master. Oh, I thought you turned into that umbrella. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I unlocked the umbrella. Um, I do want to master, like, very quickly turning from plane into car and landing on tiny rooftops. Yeah. Well, 
do that on your own time, Jeff. Okay. Fair enough. Did it. Cruise out now. <laughs>